To begin, you need to activate the boiler by turning on the power button. This brings up the standby screen, which currently indicates the room temperature within the vehicle and often indicates other activated conditions. Next, we move on to the menu screen. Here we have the basic functions for controlling the heating and hot water in your vehicle. Let's start by looking at controlling the room temperature. This can be done with the plus or minus keys at the top of the screen. Next, let's control the hot water. In its lowest setting, the hot water is switched off. The next level of power is normal operation. In this setting, you will have heating and hot water. In the highest setting, you have a hot water boost. This turns off the central heating and gives you more hot water for 30 minutes. Next, we control the 230 volt power. This can be increased up to 1, 2 or 3 kilowatts. This is, of course, dependent on the power supply at the site. Gas can be switched on using the gas symbol. Behind the menu screen, we have the more advanced settings. Here we have settings such as setting the clock or programmable night mode. These can be activated by touching the appropriate buttons. Here we have the time and day setting. This can be adjusted using the plus or minus buttons. If you'd like the time of day to be shown in standby mode, do this by ticking the show box. In order to set the program for night time, you can do this by pressing the moon button. Here we set the night temperature for a duration. To do this, set the temperature you would like the caravan or motorhome to be at in the evening, then set the time you would like the program mode to begin. Set the date to all for seven day programming, otherwise scroll for individual days. Here we set the stop time. This is the time at which normal daytime settings will resume. It's important to remember to set the program function by pressing the on button in the top right hand corner. Also of note, we have two more functions in night mode. The first one is to set the night screen to negative. This is a useful function to stop excess light pollution in the caravan. Also, we can turn off the hot water during the night. Next, we have day mode. This operates the same way as night mode and can be turned on in the top right-hand corner. We can also, once again, turn off the hot water if desired. The delayed start function can be activated by pressing the timer button. Here we have the ability to have the heating system come on while we're not there. Once again, remember to turn the function on by pressing the on button in the upper right hand corner. It's possible to prioritise gas or electric by turning on the priority button. Here we can select either electric as shown or gas prioritisation. If you would like to offset your room thermostat to perhaps another thermostat in the vehicle, you can do this by using the temperature offset to match the thermostat devices. You can scroll down for further settings by using the down arrow. It's possible to control the colour function within the standby mode by going into this button. Here we can choose how bright the standby screen is. It's worth noting, while the standby screen is dark, there's still a small green LED light to indicate the heater and hot water is switched on. We can invert the standby screen to reduce the amount of light pollution in the evening. Here we have a negative. To check which functions are activated, press the small button in the bottom right-hand corner and the screen will display all activated functions.